Okay, Sparky, where are we going? Old Oaks um, Touring Park near Glastonbury. Indeed, that's exactly where we're going. And why are you sat in the back? Because Rafferty doesn't like being in the boot on his rough. own. So um, I'm sitting in the back with him just to keep him company. Right, and why are we not going in the van, Ruth? Because Rafferty doesn't really like riding in the van at the moment because he has to go in his crate and it's all a bit of an inconvenience for Rafferty. Yes, never mind. Let's go and have a nice journey down to Glastonbury then. Cool? Cool. September morning, is it? Are you relaxing? Yes, I am. It's so quiet here and the weather's lovely. It's breezy, but the breeze isn't cold and it's sunny. And the shower's spotless. Good. Objective met then. Definitely. So we're waiting for our burgers, which come from over there. And it's a super shop, which is just there. Got much in the shop? Yeah, really good little shop. There's so many different little bits and pieces in there, but all really nice stuff, like some nice gourmet dog treats and toys for him. Um, there's, Hang on, that's two things for the dog so yeah, far. What about me? Priorities. Um, so there's beer. Oh, that Nice beer, craft beer. There's um, wine and Prosecco and ice cream and fresh local meat. Oh, have they got their gelato machine yet? It's a tea, coffee, sugars, like the basic sort of grocery items. It's a beautiful clean site, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And to round off the evening, perfect. Takeaway burgers. Which one have you gone for? I've just gone for a regular cheeseburger. Right, okay, well I think that one's mine because that is caramelised onion with yeah. bacon and cheese. Chicken chips. 
chunky chips and Glastonbury Clarecraft Ale. Cool, lovely. It is cool. Dig in. It's cold even. You sorted? Yeah, more all, than. All than sorted. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Only in two places set. Sorry, Raf. <laughs> These are pretty special trees, aren't they? What are they called? Gog. Gog and Magog. Why? Unfortunately, they have to be fenced off because people think it's wise to tie things to them and put tree, a little tea lights inside them, thus setting them alight, which is a shame. There we go. Raph, are you still keeping watch? Are you just staring at noisy dogs just to intimidate them? Oh, here they come, somebody else coming up here. And that's your parking space. Right, what are you doing, Sparky? Well, we picked up some acorn caps today when we went for a walk up to Glastonbury Tor. Yeah, but you didn't get them from where you wanted them. Where did you want them off? I wanted some acorn caps from um, Gog and Megog, but there's no way I'd take them off the tree because obviously oh, no. that would be wrong and they're, yeah. you know, they're hundreds of years old or thousands. So, um, and I couldn't find any on the floor. But anyway, we've got some Glastonbury acorn caps. This is one that you've chosen. Yeah. And... I'm going to make you some needle felt acorns. Oh, lovely. So you've chosen your wool. Herb and I don't know what that one's called, but it's like a mustardy yellow. And so I'll make you a couple of acorns. I'm going to glue them in here with some craft glue. And then I'll put a little braid of like garden twine so you can hang them up in your office somewhere. Oh, thank you. That's super. Okay. And when will they be ready? <laughs> Well, if I get needle felt in right now, you might get them this time next year. This time next year. I'm looking for an update, Sparky. This is your acorn. Mm, nice. Put them in the cap then. Let's have a look. How long have you been doing that for? And don't say two gins. One and a half gins. Yeah, they're big gins though, to be fair. So he's going to sit in the cup like that. So I just need to firm him up a bit, really. Oh, let me zoom in. Hold on. There we go. If you can see. Uh, I can't really see. I can't see the cup of it. Oh, okay. There we go. Two chins, I see. Oh. There. Yeah, he's looking good. He needs to be a bit smaller, I think. Yeah. Nice. They nice firm work. up and get smaller the more that you work it with the needle, so. Nice work. Yeah. Okay, super. Right, do you think, what's for, what's for tea down here today, what they're making? Pot roast. 
Hog roast, okay. Should we get a hog roast and light the fire pit? Yeah. Boom. That sounds I think he's happy. I think he's happy. <laughs> so this is our glamping pool. Mal and Rafferty and the embers of our fire pit there glowing still there's a little candle on our picnic table here and as we go further onto the deck area we have our little cooking area a little bit untidy, haven't washed up yet. That's the view out. So there's another glamping pod over there, but they don't overlook us. It's the side of it. Plenty of duck space. And then as we go in, there is a fridge on the bottom right and some storage and tea and coffee making facilities and um, a toaster etc we have a cupboard where you can hang your things there's an air in there and they supply things for like clearing up like dustpan and brush etc and then it's really cozy look there's a heater should you need it a big skylight window and a big king-size bed which is a really comfortable and a big mirror right it's quarter five in the morning it's rather dark but i'm going to start making my way up towards the tour i think Let's see if i can get the sun coming up catch you in a bit Right, it really is pitch black again. Don't know if you're picking up those stars, but they're beautiful. The only thing like my way, which is quite good because there's something in that hedge there that's making the noise. I'm clearly disturbing it. I better get a move on. I'm really not sure how much you can see of this. Um, it really has been a pitch black walk up that uh, narrow lane. But you can see the sun is starting to, uh, I wouldn't say uh, poke up just yet, but you can see the, uh, the light coming from it. But let me see if you can see here. There we go. Look at that for a sight as soon as you come up to the top of the hill. Glastonbury Tall. Packing away, Sparky. 
sell everything and my needle felt kit. And just to let everybody know. Oh, finished you finished them. Yeah. So they're my little acorns. So I just need to put some twine on them so you can hang them up somewhere. In my office. Yeah. Lovely, thank you. Okay. Super. I'm the big green one. You can be the little yellow one. Yeah. Yellow top. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. What do you think of that, Sparky? Lovely. I've handed the keys over like this. <laughs> well, you did try and get another night, didn't you? Mm, fully booked. Fully booked. No can do. No can do. But we're just going to take him for a quick walk down the dog walk bit before we head off to Cheddar Gorge, maybe. Wookie Hall and get some cheese. But before we do, I've got to say, how many bats swoop around you when you're here at night? Oh, loads. It's yeah. fantastic, isn't it? Let me show you something else. What about this? Oh, doggy shower. Oh, you look really happy in there, not. Dog shampoo, help yourself. Dog shampoo, hot as well, or warm, I should say. Yeah, we wouldn't show you in cold water, would we, Raph? Oh, yeah. look, he doesn't like it. I'm going oh, to you're shivering, Raph. Then let me get you. Oh, tortured dog. And beautiful dog walk, look at that. Give me Right, let's go and let him off the lead then. There they are. Lovely. All right. Thank you.